People who lost their jobs by going off on a customer, what is your story? This happened to two co-workers, and I was lucky enough to witness it. The firing didn't involve a customer, but each other and a canceled customer's order. Well, a customer decided they didn't want their bang-bang chicken, and so co-worker number one, we'll call him West, claims the order as his own and decided he didn't want to share. There may have been some miscommunication about whether it really was his or not, but we're not sure. Anyway, coworker number two, we'll call her M, wants some of the chicken as well. A verbal argument ensues where M keeps making things worse by really getting under West's skin. Well, West just couldn't take it anymore. He grabs a handful of the chicken and drives by pelts M in the face with a fistful of bang bang chicken. Other coworkers are hit by the splashback and everyone is absolutely flabbergasted by what just happened. Both ended up getting fired, partly because both were semi-incompetent. Best part is, it gets caught on camera so we could watch it anytime we wanted and refer to the incident often in times to come. Worked at GameStop as a GA, Game Advisor. Some guy came in and had a figurative buttload of games, over 100 to trade, all with games and cases mismatched. It took about 45 minutes to process his ticket when I told him the total was low because GameStop and also they were all old scratched games. This man then proceeds to try to negotiate with me, to which I kept telling him I can't change the price, which only made him angrier and louder. Eventually, he yelled, listen, you stupid N, I need at least $300 for all of this crap and you're going to give it to me. First of all, I don't even have the ability to change the price at all. Second of all, my coworker proceeded to put all of his games in a bag, walk outside, and tossed them into the parking lot and told the guy to take his racist cousin effing butt somewhere else and to eff off. Store manager came out of the back room and fired him dead on the spot. The guy stormed out, and the second he left, my manager said, Jesus, what was his effing problem? All right, get back to work. My coworker didn't get fired, it was just theatrics for the racist C. I felt like an idiot for just standing there, but it was taking everything I had to not hop the counter and hit the guy. Okay, so I didn't get fired for this, but a couple years ago I was working at Starbucks. During our busiest time of day, around 7am, a woman came in and ordered herself a 5-shot 8-pump venti latte. I was working on the bar at this time, and we were super low staffed. So I had a line of about 15 drinks that I was working through. This customer's drink was the last. She then came up to me and said, I need you to make my drink first. I'm in a hurry and need to make the bus in five minutes. I told her that it was Starbucks policy to make the drinks in order and I was doing the best I could and would get it out to her as soon as I could. She then freaked out and said something along the lines of, why don't you learn how to do your effing job then and get the drinks out faster? At that point, I had gotten about 10 to 15 drinks out and I replied, I'm actually the barista trainer for this store, ma'am, and if you were in a hurry, then you really shouldn't have stopped at Starbucks. At this point, I was working on her drink, but each set of two shots takes 20 seconds or so to cue, so I set out on making the iced chai behind her, which takes less than 10 seconds to make. I put out the chai, and she screamed, I thought you said you have to make the drinks in order! I handed her the drink, and she said, I refuse to be served by some lying bee, I'm never coming back, and threw the drink on the floor. I said, please don't, and have a lovely day. She called my manager later that day to demand I was fired, and he told her that he would have reacted in the same way, so she wasn't welcome at the store anymore. She came back a week later and pretended it never happened. I was working at Blockbuster, yes, I'm effing old, while 17 and in high school. A middle-aged guy came in, and instead of using the drop slot to return his movie, he casually tossed it across the counter, and it hit a register hard enough to pop the case open. The people working the registers, myself included, kept an eye on him because our store was a hot spot for kids to come in without adult supervision to mess things up. He chose a few movies and walked up to the front of my line and waited for me to help him. I got his information up on screen and let him know we couldn't rent the movies he wanted unless he paid his late fee of $6. He flew off the handle, reached over the counter, and grabbed my shirt, threatening to have me fired. I punched him in the face, trying to protect myself, and chased him out into the parking lot. When I came back, my manager took me into the back room, let me clean myself up, and told me they had a zero-tolerance policy for altercations in the store, and fired me. On my way out, there were customers that actually shook my hand and told me they would have done the same thing. That job was crap anyway, so I was glad to be gone from there. TLDR, customer grabbed my shirt in a threatening manner, I punched him and chased him out of the store, and got fired for it. Obligatory, it was my co-worker, but I was like five feet away. 
We worked in the produce section of Safeway. He had gotten in like five minutes prior and was obviously in a bad mood when a customer comes up and started complaining about her fruit. He tries the normal talking points, but the lady is being a bee. Finally, he just loses it and yells, F off, you stupid W, and throws his apron at her and leaves the store. Never heard from him again. That was also the day I worked my first 16-hour shift. Reply, every business should have a mandatory, we do not deal with rude customers rule. If a customer is rude and can't hold an argument like a sane person, then they are not to be served. If only the world was perfect. Luckily, I didn't lose my job for this, as the manager on shift was pretty lenient and agreed with me. So, I worked at a pretzel place where you hand make everything. I just finished rolling and bounced over to register to help out a customer. Lady asked, Hi, can I get your salted nuggets, but are they fresh? I knew for a fact they were. I had just rolled them myself and put them in the warmer. Indeed, ma'am, I'd be happy to make you fresher ones if you want to wait 5 to 10 minutes, but I literally put these in here less than 5 minutes ago. She seemed happy and content. Sure, I'll take those, thanks. Not even five minutes later, she comes back hollering at me that I'm a liar, that I must be stupid because the nuggets were hard, which I knew she was the liar because I had just made everything. What gets me is she came back even though she came back with less than half of the cup left. Must have been terrible, right? So after I got called a liar, a moron, and she had the audacity to demand a refund and new fresh nuggets another three times, I turned to a coworker and I said, which I quote, Someone needs to help this bee because I'm not. Loud enough for her to hear, and I stormed out of the store to the back room to cool off. Sister was the manager of a women's clothing store. At the time, she was dealing with some personal issues regarding depression and anxiety, so she wasn't in the greatest state of mind to begin with. A customer had come in with a pair of pants that had ripped along the inner thigh seams, which were well past the return period and had clearly been worn slash washed. The customer, who was a larger woman, went off on a sales associate stating she'd only tried the pants on and that caused the seams to rip and she wanted a refund. She brought the associate to tears with her ranting and finally demanded the manager, my sister. Enter my sis and the customer starts yelling at her too. Sis promptly tells the customer that her pants split because she was an effing fat butt, she wouldn't get an effing and to take her fat butt out of the store and never come back. Sis then went in the back, called her boss and quit before she could be fired. Her boss actually was willing to let her stay, but she chose to leave anyway until she could get her depression issues under control. Took a solid year, but she's much happier and healthier now. I have a speech impediment, and back when I worked at Starbucks, this young African-American kid would come in every day after school and order a caramel frap. Every time I told him it would be $3.50, he would laugh uproariously and ask me to say it again. After a few weeks of this, he'd start bringing in his buddies as well. Each one would order the exact same drink then asked me to keep repeating the price for them again and again. After a few months, I broke down. You boys should know how much the drink is by now. My manager overheard and claimed I was being racist by calling them you boys even though they were all middle school age. Anyway, I still see the kids around town and they always shout at me, how much are those caramel fraps again? I didn't say this, but I saw it happen. Working at Burger King many years ago. I was working the drive through register, which was close enough to the front register that I could hear conversations. One of my co-workers was taking an order from a lady who kept asking how much her total was and then canceling food on it and changing her mind. I guess she was trying to keep under a certain dollar amount. Well, at the Burger King I worked at, any cancelled food on an order needed a manager's password, thanks to one a-hole who stole money by putting in someone's order, telling them the total, and then cancelling out the order and pocketing the money. So the manager had come by three or four times at that point. This was during dinner time, mind you, so there was a line of customers out the door waiting to order. Finally, my coworker pulled out a pad of paper and a calculator. He started writing this woman's order down and totaling it out by hand. The woman asked him why he was doing that, and he told her, When you make up your mind about what you want, then I'll put it in the register. This peed the lady off, so she grabbed the notebook and tried to hit my coworker with it. He snatched it back from her and told her, Get the F out. My manager was only going to write him up for it, since the manager agreed that the lady absolutely deserved it, but my manager had to follow company policy. But he already had two write-ups on file, so she had to fire him. Edit. Oh, hey, my first gold. I saved a guy's job once. I was behind an extremely rude customer who was clearly crossing the line over something stupid like 20 cents and was taking it out on the cashier. Finally, the cashier had enough and snapped back by saying something like, if you don't like it, maybe you should just shop somewhere else. Except he used curse words. Guy got extremely offended and said he was going to take it up with the management. 
Just so happened, though, that my brother was the district manager of the store. No one at the store knows, though, because that'd be weird if I just went in and was like, my brother's your boss. I told the cashier nothing would happen, just a slap on the wrist, but he seemed pretty worried because he kind of said it in the heat of the moment. Called my brother later and told him the situation, and the customer was a complete jackbutt. I guess he later got a call from the manager about the employee, and he just told him, I know about it, don't worry, and just give the guy a verbal warning. Later, my bro told me he'd probably have sided with the customer if I hadn't called him and done paperwork or fired him. This happened to a friend of mine. He worked at a McDonald's as a cashier. It was getting busy, and this older teen, 17 to 19, is next in line. Well, she thought it was a perfect time to actually figure out what she wanted to eat. She hummed and hawed, asking pretty stupid questions, the kind of questions a person would ask if they're not that hungry. It was a little annoying at first, but it kept getting worse. For about 20 minutes, she was making an order and then going back on it because she wanted to change it at the last minute. Finally, she decided, after all that, 30 minutes have passed, she just wants a medium chocolate milkshake. He goes to make it, just as he was handing it to her, she was like, oh, sorry, can you make it vanilla instead? Well, something snapped in his mind as he took her drink, dumped it on her, whipped off his apron, jumped over the counter and yelled, I quit, and stormed out of McDonald's. When I was in 10th grade, I worked at Kroger, which is a local grocery store during the summer. I was a bag boy part-time. One day, this older lady, probably about 75 or 80 years old, came in and wanted to buy a watermelon. When she got to the register, she asked me to go and grab her one because they were too heavy for her to carry. So I went and just grabbed the first one I saw from where they were sitting in the produce section. I brought it back and set it down, thinking nothing of it. She immediately went and thumped it and gave me a dirty look. I'm like, WTF is this bee doing? She scowled at me and told me it was not ripe and that I needed to go get her another one. I just said okay and grabbed that one, took it back and grabbed another. This literally went on like four or five times and she was really starting to be a bee and I was starting to get severely peed off. Finally, after the fifth time, she looked at me and said, Are you stupid or something? Don't you know what a ripe watermelon looks like? You can keep going back and forth until you figure it out. I just looked at her and said, Nope, I guess I don't, so you can go get your own effing watermelon now, B. She literally almost had a stroke. I immediately turned around and walked out to my car and hauled butt to my buddy's house and smoked a few blunts. The store manager called me several times over the next few days, but I never answered my phone and he finally quit. Told my parents that I just got tired of working there and that I would find another job, which I did, waiting tables. I went in about a week later and grabbed my paycheck from the girl working at customer service and stealthed out of there never to be seen again. From the customer's point of view, I have a story. I was at some airport small coffee shop and ordered an iced coffee with not too much ice. I emphasized very little because, you know, they usually fill up the cup and it's more ice than beverage. So I get the drink and it's packed with ice. I hate confronting people or complaining, so I try to be polite as possible because they were busy and asked the lady who made it if she could take out some of the ice and put more coffee in. I told her that I had originally asked for light ice. She gave me a cold stare and said, that is light ice. We both looked at the cup, ice all the way to the bottom. This was so awkward for me, but I decided to argue it. I, I don't think so, it's full of ice. Then one of her coworkers walks up and says, there's like literally barely any ice in it. I could tell they were messing with me, they snickered. I walked away with an, oh, okay, because that was as much conflict as I could handle. I heard them laugh and call me a stupid C as I walked away. Luckily, my sister was there to make me feel better. She wanted to beat them up, cause I cried a little. Not me, but my buddy was a bartender at a chain restaurant. He had been written up before cause he would be snarky with customers that most of his regulars loved, but others, not so much. For example, he got written up once because a customer asked if they had Coors Light and he said, no, they don't carry crappy beer. What finally made him rage quit was a mom and her kid were waiting at the bar for their table. The kid was sitting at the bar next to his mom, and my buddy tells her he can't sit there since he's not 21. Mom gets all huffy that she's there, so it's okay, An argument over state laws ensue. Manager gets involved and takes the mom's side, which makes my buddy openly say to the manager in front of all the customers that he'd rather break the law than lose a customer. Manager fires him on the spot, but my buddy does the F-U-I quit and storms out. Working the closing shift at Quiznos with one other person. I was 20. Male. Not small, and the other person was 16 female and small. 
11 o'clock rolls around and we lock the door, start finishing cleanup, and a few minutes later an a-hole with a truck shows up and starts banging on the door. I was in the back pulling bread for the next morning and she came by saying that there is a guy at the door who was screaming at her demanding a sandwich. She is visibly shaken and borderline crying so I go open the door and start telling the guy we're closed, but he cuts me off and says he was there before 11 and wants a sandwich anyways. Back and forth etc ends in me giving him the finger after he starts verbally abusing me, closing the door and locking it for my safety and him taking a picture and coming back the next day when I was at home and talking to my bosses. I, a key holder, assistant manager, reliable employee with no prior history of anything negative, got a phone call that evening saying I was done. Shouldn't have given him the finger, should have punched him in the face. Only regret. This one actually happened to me, but I didn't lose my job. I was working at Walmart Neighborhood Market as a cashier when I was in high school, and a guy two registers over was really upset about something. He was a 40-something dad wearing gym shorts and a tucked-in t-shirt who looked like he'd trained for Iron Man's for his midlife crisis. He got into a shouting match with that cashier about something and kicked one of those hand baskets on the ground into our copy machine up front pretty hard as he stormed off. I shouted at him that he didn't have to behave that way. He continued to walk away, and I shouted at him again the same thing. As he reached the exit door, he turned around and shouted to me, Yeah, what's your skinny butt gonna do about it? That's when I shouted at him I was gonna kick his butt. No idea why I thought I could take him, but he got me all worked up the way he was acting like a whiny bee. So I left my register and started charging him, and my manager intercepted me, grabbed me, and threw me into the office at the front of the store. I'm not sure how they handled the guy, but she came in and said I should be fired, but that they wouldn't do it because I was a decent employee. So I eventually went back to my register, and the next two people in my line that witnessed that whole fiasco offered me jobs if I got fired for doing that. So it worked out pretty well. Before I start this, I have to say I have a very bad temper and am trying to work on it. I worked at a five-star hotel and restaurant as a bartender. We often had wedding dinners, ceremonies, etc., this one time we hosted a wedding dinner, and I have to say, it was amazing. I was on the bad end of a 12-hour shift and still had two hours to go. I got an order for four drinks for the bride and three bridesmaids. So I made the drinks and took them through the dancing pea heads to the bride and her friend. As I arrived, however, the bride looked at me and sharply said, You've given us the wrong drinks. Are you stupid? I explained calmly, These are the drinks that were on my order ticket. I apologize. If you tell me what you would like, I'll make you some more drinks on the house. Raising her voice, she said, I don't effing want a drink in a minute. I want one now. You're the worst bartender I've ever had the misfortune to come across. Kill yourself. Now, I didn't appreciate that. A dear friend of mine had killed himself three months prior. I walked away quietly with a smile. I got two big pitchers, filled them up with the reddest liquids I could find, red wine, black currant juice, cranberry juice, etc. Calmly took them to her and poured them all over her wedding dress. Looked her in the eyes and called her a C. I walked out of my job because I knew I was fired. I was working at Domino's when I was 16 and was quickly promoted to assistant manager. There's this night in which all orders made online are half-priced, and I cannot stress how off-the-walls crazy and busy we would get every time this sale came around. Anyways, Domino's has a drive through but you're not allowed to order from it. You can only pick up food ordered prior to arrival. This guy makes an order in the parking lot and immediately drives up to the window asking for it. I checked the time ordered and explained to him it's going to be a bit, especially since we're incredibly busy and he had just now placed his order. I asked him to drive around so I could serve the people waiting behind him, which he agrees to fairly calmly. He makes it back to the front of the line again and I explained to him once more that because he had only placed his order five minutes ago, it's still going to be a bit. He starts ranting about how it shouldn't take 15 minutes to put some chicken wings in a box for him and how he is not going to move from his spot until I magically make time go by faster so I can present him his food he wants irrationally fast. I look him dead in the eyes and say something around the lines of, What do you want? No, I mean, really, why are you doing this? It's because you want something free out of me, isn't it? If I give you this two liter of coke for free, will you shut up and drive around? His eyes widened and his face flushes as I think he realized how much of an a-hole he was being and he drove around again, which gave me enough time to actually cook his food. I didn't get fired. I had way too much leverage for that. I quit. I didn't lose my job and I didn't explode at the guy, but I was moments away from doing so. 
It was marathon day and tons of people were out and about and our restroom key got stolen. It was packed butts to nuts, A to D, fire code, violation hell. I literally couldn't open the restroom for anyone, not even if President Obama, the Pope, my mama, and a mama bear walked in needing to go. Would I be able to will the restroom door open? This was a famous chain cafe. One guy questioned that I was telling the truth and reached into my apron pocket. I was going to kill that guy, but I just walked away and cooled off in the back. When I came out, this guy was making a huge fuss about opening the restroom for him. I told him I couldn't, and he said, Can't you see I have kids? I replied, Can't you see I don't have the key? Then he just explodes in my face. I was going to push over and knock him over in his baby carriage, but that's when I quit, because this job just made me want to hurt a baby. I used to cut hair. I was cutting a lady's hair when the child of the lady waiting started running around the shop. I told the child several times to go sit with her mother and asked her mother to please keep her child seated next to her. Well, in the middle of cutting around my client's ear, the child ran into my work area, ran into me, and almost caused me to cut my client. I looked at the child and firmly said, you need to go sit down with your mother now. Well, her mom didn't like that and came running back at me and yelled, don't tell my child what to do, I'm her parent. I responded with, then act like it. She glared at me, grabbed her child, and stormed out. Everyone in the shop was relieved the child had left. A few days later, the owner came and tried to fire me for it, but luckily there were enough other stylists and clients that came to my defense about the danger of the situation, and I only got a write-up. I didn't get fired, but got a written warning for this. I was working on chat tech support for a web host. Customers chatted in, complaining of slowness, claiming our servers were having issues. I do all the standard steps, and we determine that his ISP is having issues. Standard, tracer, etc. He doesn't believe me and becomes obstinate. So I end the chat by saying, you're wrong. About 10 minutes later, I got a new chat. I see the account name and the question. It was the same guy with the same question. Without letting him say anything, I write, you're still wrong, and close the chat. If I wasn't one of the better techs, I know I would have been fired. A woman came into a charity shop and complained about every single item loudly to the 10 or so customers in there. Along the lines of, this is old crap, who pays for this? Like we're some boutique with clothes from the back of a van. She clearly didn't understand how rarely new clothes, still tagged, etc., are donated. Then she got in my face about it. I was so angry with her for chasing away the people that came in that I lost my cool. There was nobody left except her since she'd ranted them into leaving. I told her to get out and I didn't give a crap about the clothes or her opinions. She screamed her way out of the shop broadcasting it to everyone on the street. She came back once the manager was off their break and complained again, so I lost my job fairly soon after. I can't blame them. I'd have done the same. Many years ago, I worked at a home improvement store called Menards. I was a cart pusher, which was nice as I was outside all the time. Anyway, we gather about 25 to 30 shopping carts together and push them up to the entrance where they are stored inside. Now, to get them there, we have to cross the main drive of the parking lot in front of the store. We always stop and let customers drive by. So as I push the carts up, I stop because I see a guy in a pretty nice SUV. He's actually stopped in front of the entrance. Maybe he dropped someone off, I don't know. So I'm waiting to see if he drives off, and he then looks at me and waves me across. Looks like he wanted to finish a call he had gotten or something. So I wave back and start pushing the carts across. I'm on the other side when someone clips me across the shoulder blades, and it stung someone and pushed me forward. At that same time, I heard glass shatter. I turned around, and the guy in the SUV clipped me with his side-view mirror. It had swung closed and shattered the window and the door, and I'm just standing there wide-eyed. Two seconds later, the guy gets out of his car, swearing up a storm at me and how I'm a low-life piece of crap and how I'm going to pay for a new window and that I'm not going to get anywhere in life because I broke his window. Now, I'm the type of person that if I was the reason, I'll take the blame and fix the problem, but this guy hit me. I blew up on him for about five minutes before a manager finally had the guts to come over and pull me away. I didn't have to pay for a new window as it was on video, but I lost my job because we are not supposed to yell and cuss at the customer. Edit. Holy crap. New year and Reddit gold. Thanks, guys. No one was fired, but it felt great. I work in a ski shop at a large hill in Quebec. We have a few problem clients. I was off work one day skiing, face covered fully, unrecognizable, goggles and mask. 
This woman was berating one of my co-workers about a pair of goggles she had improperly changed the lenses on, and hence they had fallen out on the hill and she lost them. Just to set the scene, she is a 50-something-year-old trophy wife who has clearly never held a job. At first I was quiet, forgetting that not even the employees recognized me. Then I, under the pretense of being a customer, lost it on her. I called her a stupid bee who clearly can't follow instructions and went as far as to blame her attitude on her husband not giving her any. I said many things completely unfiltered, something I dreamt of since I started in retail almost a decade ago, then I just walked out. A few days later, I heard the guys from the shop talking about this customer who ripped the old bee a new one, but I never told them. I think this way I have maybe restored some salespeople's faith in clients everywhere. Used to work at a gas station that had full service, clean windows, full tank, check fluids, etc. So this lady pulls in at the diesel pumps and asks for 20. I said, ma'am, I don't think this is a diesel engine. You may want to check. She goes off and says that me being only a child, 17 at the time and decently good in the automotive industry, I say, yes, ma'am. I put in her fuel and she left. Wasn't but maybe a couple hours later, she pulls up to the gas station in a cab, starts yelling at me for effing her car up. Call me a bunch of names, finally I get to my boiling point and just snap back with, if your dumb butt would have listened to this 17-year-old, you wouldn't be in this situation. I feel like you need to take a step back and realize how funny your F-up is. Oh man, did this light her up. Owner of the store was called down. He basically told her the same thing. She left in a fit of rage, promising lawyers and such. I didn't lose my job, but the boss did scold me for not getting the conversation with her on the cameras as he wanted to see her face when I called her a dumb butt. Wasn't fired, but it was my last day at this job. I worked at a very popular hosting company as a server administrator. Not usually a customer-facing position, but sometimes people complain to the right people and they get to talk to us. Anyway, this woman managed to complain enough to get our direct number, and on my last day, I wound up talking to her. She would usually call us and ask really dumb crap that we shouldn't have got into the habit of answering for her. She needed to hire her own admin to run her servers. Anyway, she asked me about adding a new user to her wheel group and cPanel. It's super easy. I mean, really, really easy. A quick Google search would have yielded many articles on how to do this as well as walkthroughs. So I did what I have always wanted to do. I sent her an LMGTFY link to her email, advised her to click on it, and she did. She exploded. I could not have cared any less. I put the phone down, let her yell, and then proceeded to ask her if she had any other questions. She escalated to my boss, who proceeded to laugh his butt off at her. He told her what we all wanted to say. He told her to never call our number again for any kind of support. If she needed help, she would need to hire her own admin or go through our regular support channels. Since it was my last day there, my boss did nothing to me. We all had a good laugh at the little bit of revenge we got to experience in a realm where we take the brunt of people's frustrations. Very gratifying last day. This happened to a good friend of mine while waiting tables at an upscale Italian restaurant. A woman came in talking on her phone. She was being very rude to whoever she was talking to. My friend sat her and poured her water, etc. She was still talking on the phone, so he decided to give her a minute. When he came back, she looked irritated and told him she was in a hurry. He took her order. She sent back her wine, telling him it tasted off when he offered her a different suggestion. She told him she didn't trust the wine here and took coffee instead. She complained that the coffee was bitter. He offered cream. She said she was lactose intolerant. Her complaints and demands increased throughout her meal and my friend's mood soured. When he gave her the check, she was on the phone again, loudly complaining to someone about the restaurant and the service. When my friend came back, she was gone. She left no tip, but she did leave her phone, a Razer flip phone. Now this was in the early 2000s when the Razer phone had just come out and they had value. My friend took the phone, went out back, and snapped it in half, discarding the pieces in the dumpster. The woman came back later, but he played dumb and apologized. I'm so sorry, we haven't seen it. Shrugged shoulders. Worked for a center and got yelled at for something out of my control for over an hour, and then the guy was done yelling, his wife came on the phone and yelled at me for an hour. Because they were not swearing, I couldn't hang up, and because it was 6 p.m. on a Sunday, all the management was gone and the help desk was closed, so I was unable to ask for help. They also refused to let me set up a call back from my manager to whom they wanted to speak to the entire time. So I decided to tell them I'm going to call my help desk and put them on hold for 10 minutes while I took a crap. When I came back, the lady said, are you ready to act like an adult now? 
To which I replied, I've been professional the entire time, are you ready to act like an adult? They finally started cursing so I could disconnect the call. About two weeks later, I'm called into HR and told that asking them to act like an adult was unacceptable, so I asked them what they expected me to do because only the manager who wasn't there had the ability to help those a-holes who refused to let me set up a call back. HR's response was, I'm not sure, but you cannot talk to customers like that. Not fired and no punishment, but I did have a lady call our corporate office on me. I work in retail, so I deal with a lot of verbal abuse, but I think the big one was when I had a lady accuse me of stealing money from her at the register. I was ringing a lady up at the register one day, and when I told her what her total was, about $150 to $200, she handed me somewhere between $40 and $60 in cash. I was a bit confused and asked her if she wanted me to do some in cash and put the rest on her credit card. She looked up extremely confused and angry and immediately demanded her cash back. She started counting all of the cash in her wallet and accused me of stealing $100 from her, claiming she knew exactly how much she gave me. I fanned out my pockets and lifted everything up around the register to show her that I did not have her money, but she just didn't believe me. She paid for her purchase anyway and demanded my name and the number of our corporate office. I happily complied, smiled, and told her to have a nice day. Corporate called us a couple days later and I told them what happened and I got off without any punishment as they agreed that she sounded crazy when they were on the phone with her. Another obligatory not me but my coworker post. Worked retail in a computer store that also trained customers on software. I was teaching an elderly gentleman how to use his phone and we were sitting not 10 feet away from my coworker, we'll call him Ben, attempting to sell a computer to a woman with three crying children who seemed to be oblivious to their cries. After five or so minutes of this, my customer asks if there's anything I can do about it since he literally can't hear me over the kids. When Ben was walking back to the lady from the back stockroom, I snagged him and asked if he could politely escort her a little ways away so my customer and I could continue. Rather than doing this, however, he goes back to her and bluntly says, Ma'am, you need to control your children. This customer and my coworker, points at the older gentleman and me, can't hear over your loudly screaming children. After a moment of stunned silence, other than the continued cries from the kids, she demanded to speak to the manager. The manager listened to her for over an hour and, well, Ben was fired not long after. Female tattoo artist here. I have been fired over bad Yelp reviews for doing what I was asked for after I advised against it. A couple other reviews were equally baseless and I got crap canned. My male coworkers can be brutally savage and no one says crap about it, but I get raked over the coals for not being nice. The kicker is that I am nice, but quiet while I work, which apparently offends the crap out of people. Edit to add, it is almost exclusively women who throw this sexist BS my way. I've had a bee explicitly say to a coworker that she just doesn't like dealing with women. I catch crap because some W just wants to flirt with the artist for a deal, and when they get me, they know that plan is shot to crap, so they give me unmitigated hell. Or because I must be effing one of these dudes, I am not, and they're mad about it. Or I'm quiet and not girly, so I'd like to quietly go about doing a banging tattoo, not swap stories about periods. Basically, if you got what you asked for, don't go lying about me online. Worked for a small tow truck business. The owner took a request for a scheduled pickup of two vehicles. Shop guaranteed they would be there at the designated time due to a tight deadline. Well, an accident on the highway later, the owner can only see money and dispatches all the tow trucks away and effed the scheduled customer. The customer is calling in baffled that there is no tow truck available for two hours even though she had called ahead. The owner just goes crazy yelling at her and tells her, that's the way this business happens, you should have known that. It pees off the customer till she flips crap and calls over and over and over. Then the owner calls the police and says that she is being phone harassed. Well, the owner effed up and peed off a well-connected ginger who actually picketed outside the building. She called some friends in high places in the city, and due to some shady practices and problems with city officials, the shop was closed in a year. I got a better job with another tow truck that actually had air conditioning in the trucks. This happened to me about a month ago. When I started in the engineering department of a factory almost two years ago, there were two other guys about my age, mid-twenties, and our manager. The one guy quit, the other guy's visa ran out. So it was just my manager and myself for most of a year doing everything for the engineering and sales department. 
Things had been crazy busy for months. I was staying late and still wasn't able to get all my work done. One day, one of our biggest customers announced that they were having a conference call slash presentation at 6.30 a.m. two hours early. I attended, but the call was completely useless. They talked about the company's history, the kind of machinery they have, the new building they're buying. Absolutely nothing to do with my job. Two days later, there was a survey to see how useful the presentation was, so I said it was a waste of my time and if they made the conference a little earlier, I would have made a blanket for it and slept in my office. It was an anonymous survey, but the customer tracked the IP address of my response and passed it along to my manager. He called me into his office and asked me if I knew anything about IP addresses. They fired me a few days later. A family member, protecting the guilty, works in long-term nursing care. Well, Christmas came and a son from hell showed up. His mother is so badly bedridden she can't sit up in a chair without support and he refuses to let her have a bedpan and insisted she be taken to the toilet. He was so belligerent he chased one CNA out of her room and in goes family member. She's having none of his crap today and says, Your mother requires total care. We can only do one of two things, bedpan or I change her, wearing a depends. He got in her face screaming, You don't understand what I'm saying. You will take her to the bathroom right now. And she stood her ground. It will hurt her and I won't do it. So he screams some more. Someone else already told me that and I will not effing hear it again. So she snapped back. Then I won't effing say it again and let him sputter and grunt all the way to the administrator of the facility. She is extremely happy to be leaving that job. Some guy came and found me after checking out the pet section, wondering where our dog food was. I explained that we had a whole section up in the pet aisle, and I politely escorted him to the dog food. Where, he says, literally standing in front of the dog food. I didn't want to say something that might offend him, because standing in front of five shelves clearly filled with dog food is pretty hard to miss. So I pointed, so I gestured to some cans or crap. He says, no, that's not dog food. You expect me to feed my dogs this crap? You eat it. I actually didn't care that he said this. Working in retail for a few years hardens you to these comments. But I wanted to diffuse the situation with some humor, so I said, I can't, I'm vegan. For lulz. He went effing ape crap. Started screaming at me, and I stood there and just nodded. But what got me fired was a regular that came in every morning and saw this and tried to come to my aid. I told her it was okay and she was not to worry about it. She told me off for not defending myself. So now two customers are yelling at each other and I am a socially awkward turtle and never experienced such effery before, so I had no idea how to handle the situation. Not long before, my boss came over, saw this kicking off, and after explaining that it wasn't my fault, I got the sack for causing an uproar. Oh, hopefully I'm not too late. A long time ago, a friend and I were eating at Olive Garden. Waiter was cool as hell, about our age, mid-twenties, and did a great job. Although I didn't notice, there was a huge table kinda next to us of about 20 people. Anyway, they all left, and I didn't think anything of it. Then a few minutes later, our waiter comes up and says, Well, this is Susan, or whoever, can't remember her name, and she's gonna be taking care of you for the remainder of your dinner this evening. My friend and I were like, wait, why? You were great. Everything okay? He then explained that he's fine, but that the table of 20 who had been there for at least two hours and had a collective bill of over $500 tipped him only $3. So he ran out to the parking lot and yelled at them that they were pieces of crap, go F off, and never come back. He was fired on the spot when they reported him to the manager. My friend and I told him right on and that we hoped things would work out for him and that we probably would have done the same. I worked in a call center once. We were paid based on how many calls we can handle in an hour. Big range, like six to twenty dollars per hour. One time a guy called in to get the number to NPR so he could complain about a story they just ran. I started talking to him about it since it was a topic I was interested in. Turned out his wife just died and he admittedly really just wanted to talk to someone. He was retired and hadn't really spoken to anyone in weeks. We ended up talking for 90 minutes until my shift ended. Sometimes it was heated, but always civil. It was a great conversation, and I wish I had a transcript or recording. I honestly don't even remember the topic. Both of us were crying at one point, which seemed crazy. My manager went ballistic when he saw my average that day was something like 45 minutes when it was usually closer to 45 seconds. I told him to go F himself. We were all getting laid off in a few weeks anyway. When I was in high school, I had several friends that all worked at the grocery store in our small town while I had a job in a warehouse. 
During the summer, I'd be off work by 5 while they had to be at work until closing, 9 or 10, on Friday and Saturday nights. I'd go to the store and help them get all their closing done, just so they could get out a bit earlier and we could go do whatever it was small-town teenagers did for fun in the 80s. Sometimes drink, mostly hang out in the Dairy Queen parking lot, and be a-holes. Most of what I helped with was facing shelves and stocking. One night, this drunk couple was in the store being loud, arguing with each other, and genuinely being crappy to everyone else. I was stocking some shelves with a cart full of boxes next to me in the aisle when a drunk guy said, Hey, numbnuts, why don't you pull your head out of your butt and get this crap out of my way? Keeping in mind that I didn't work there or give a crap at all, I replied, Why don't you shut the F up? He got really peed, went looking for a manager, and when he brought the manager back and explained it to him, I was fired on the spot. I thought the manager was just making a show of it to appease drunkie, so I went out to my car and waited for my friends to get off work. About 20 minutes later, the manager came out and told me since I was fired, I needed to also vacate the premises. I started laughing in his face. You know I never worked here, right? He was genuinely surprised. He just seen me on a regular enough basis that he assumed I did. The whole thing was pretty funny, but it's also a bit of a sad statement about how much some managers care about their workers. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.